it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel Amber's Awfully Awesome Art and today I am doing a pour on a acoustic guitar that my husband had gotten me. He really wanted me to to do some fluid art on it and I have taken the pick guard off and I have also taped it around really well so that paint doesn't get on the areas that I don't want paint on. Um, I have also sanded the guitar with 50 grit sandpaper. You can use 80 grit as well. And next I will share my colors. I am starting off with Soho Quinacridone Rose. Here's my consistency. All of my paints are mixed with uh, Floetrol and a splash of GAC 800 and uh, a little bit of water just to leave a one second trace, one to two second trace. And this is Amsterdam Kaput Mortem Violet followed by Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Um, I... I kind of wanted uh, some fun colors, some bright colors to use in this pour. And this will be followed by Liquitex Cerulean Blue Deep. And y'all, I'll have all of the colors listed down below in the description box. Um, next, I'm using Liquitex Aqua Green. I absolutely love this color. It's my favorite color. And I always have this on hand. Um... And I'm also using Amsterdam Brilliant Green. I've never used this in any of my fluid art paintings or any paintings. And I, I don't know why. It's really pretty. Um, so I will definitely use it more often. And last but not least, I am using a Creative Inspirations Viridian Green. I, I kind of wanted something lighter than Thalo Turquoise, so the Viridian Green worked perfect. And I basically will pour my colors into these um, shot glasses that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I will puddle them on top of each other and tilt them around. So here I am starting with my pinks and my magentas and my purples and I'm going to tilt um, the paint around until the entire top part of the guitar is covered and also until I get a pattern that I like because um, I want to resin this and then do some dot um, or blob art and I want to make a nice pattern out of that. Uh, so here I am just puddling my paints. As I mentioned before, I will have everything listed down below in the description box. Um, this was a little challenging for me because I've never uh, done a painting on a surface like this. So it was a good challenge and it was really fun as well. And I'm happy with the results. I will let y'all enjoy the rest of the process and um, I will be back with the wet results and uh, see y'all then. Here are the wet results of my um, pour and I'm overall okay with um, how it turned out. Um, because again, I'm going to dot on this or blob on this, so it'll totally turn, uh, the total composition of this piece, uh, it'll look totally different. And I did notice that the different brands did cause certain reactions, which is okay. And here is the resin result. I did a really thin coat of Mixed Media Girl resin. I will have her channel and website linked down below. I did put a little bit of um, glitter in the resin as well, just to, you know, make it kind of fun. So here here it is again another angle and then next uh i will show you guys how i uh blobbed on this piece and 
And y'all, next I want to share uh, my dotting slash blobbing process. I have started on most of the guitar. It just takes a long time and I didn't want you guys to sit through the whole process but I do want to share my colors I'm using this little piggy parakeet one of my absolute favorite pigments it's a nice light green color followed by liquitex aqua green I'm using that again and the darker blue color is actually liquitex um, cobalt blue I didn't have the tube with me um, so I apologize uh, then I also wanted to use this little piggy show pony I thought show pony would go really well with the Amsterdam um, permanent blue violet that I used and I'm also using Liquitex Brilliant Purple and this will be followed by Pebeo uh, Red Blue I believe um, and I'll have all the colors uh, listed down below and I'm also going to be using uh, Amsterdam Permanent Green Deep um, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the dotting process. And y'all, here is the final completed result of my acoustic guitar. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I love how vibrant um, the guitar is as well and the colors that I used. And I did get the strings attached back on this as well, and you can definitely play this guitar. Uh, it will sound a little different due to the resin and the blobbing or dotting done on it. it. It changes the way the wood vibrates. And here is another angle. Um, just check out the vibrancy of the colors and, and the colors from the dotting. And y'all, I'll have everything listed down below in the description box. Um, this was a really fun project to do and um, I don't know if I mentioned it before but I did use mixed media girl uh, artist resin on this I will have her channel and website linked down below as well so definitely go check out her products but yeah there you have it guys thanks for joining me today until next time stay safe stay classy guys and stay awfully awesome I can't wait to see y'all for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.